Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, we are going to check out this OBD2 scanner, this code reader for your vehicle. And you know, this will retrieve the trouble codes for you from your vehicle if your check engine light is on and help you try to figure out what's what's going on with your vehicle. So um, once we hook it up, I'll take you through all the different options and I'll show you how it works. It's made by this company here, OBDS Car, and the model number is OS601. Let's take a look at the back here. So um, here's the information on the back. It's got a list of the different features that it supports multiple languages and it talks about the color display here as well as some other information. So what is OBD? OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics and all cars and light trucks model year 1996 and newer that were sold in the US were required to have this port in the vehicle. So any vehicles that are 1996 or newer, you will most likely have the port on the driver's side underneath your dash. If your car or light truck was sold outside of the US, it's still possible that you have this in your vehicle. Just take a look around to confirm for sure. So um, let me go ahead and I'm gonna take the OBD2 code reader uh, out of the packaging here and we'll take a closer look. All right, guys, so here is the OBD2 scanner, and this is a nice looking code reader. And you know, this is uh, small enough that you could put it into a toolbox or into a drawer, and then it's there when you need it. And even if you're not going to make the repair to your vehicle yourself, these are great to have because um, you know, you can still get the trouble codes from your vehicle. That way, you can talk to a mechanic and let them know that you know, here are the trouble codes, what types of repairs might need to be done, and what is the price of those types of repairs. It just kind of helps you, uh, you know, know ahead of time uh, what's going to be involved in getting your vehicle repaired. I'm going to go show you guys how to hook this up and then we're going to go through the menu options. But before I do, here is the user's manual. Make sure that you read through it and understand it completely before you ever use the OBD2 scanner. It will tell you everything you need to know on how to use the OBD2 scanner both safely and properly. Okay, let's head out to my 2006 Toyota Corolla and I'm going to show you how to get this hooked up. All right, guys, so here's my 2006 Toyota Corolla and the OBD2 port is right down here. And um, if you notice, the top is longer than the bottom and the sides are angled, so just make sure that you hook it up the right way. And here is the OBD2 scanner. And you can see the same thing with the connector here. It's longer on the top and shorter on the bottom with angled sides. So let me go ahead and get this hooked up and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I have the OBD2 scanner hooked up and once you hook it up, you do have to turn your vehicle to the on position. You don't have to start up your vehicle, but you do need to turn it to the on position so your vehicle can communicate with the OBD2 scanner. And we're gonna go through each of the options here. Um, the first one's diagnosis, but we're gonna do that one last. So the next one is I am info, which is the I am readiness, which you can also access through the diagnosis. Uh, option. So we'll talk about it uh, then. And I also noticed from the main menu here, when I do go into it, it just loops back to the main menu. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. But if we go into the DTC lookup, uh, which is a diagnosis, uh, diagnostic trouble code lookup, um, this is cool because when you come in here, you can, if you already know the trouble code, like say you already knew this trouble code, you can type it in there and it will tell you what that trouble code is. So that's pretty cool. Um, the vehicle information, if you go in here, it'll tell you like the VIN number of your vehicle. If we go into settings, you have language setup. Here are the different languages. Um, we have system information. So this is the software information and the serial number of this uh, OBD2 scanner. Um, you can turn the beep on and off, uh, you know, like if you want it to beep as you, uh, go through the different, oops, let's turn that on. There it beeps, but we'll keep it off for this review. And then unit of measure, uh, which we can go between metric and English. Um, okay. 
So then uh, the last one there is review. And after you've done a diagnosis on your vehicle, you can access those results, the last uh, test re test results through the review. So um, let's go into diagnosis here. And this will just take a little bit to uh, communicate with the onboard computer. All right, guys, so here's the menu once you get into the diagnosis option, and the first one's read trouble code. So if we come in here, we can read current codes or pending codes, and pending codes are codes that haven't fully registered in the onboard computer yet, um, but it will still give you that information if there is any. And we can see in my vehicle, one of the stored codes is P0420, catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one. So unless you're a mechanic and do this every day for a living, we're probably not going to know what this means, but this is where you would go to the internet and you would do some research to figure out what this code meant. And for each code, there can be a handful of different things uh, that could be going on with your vehicle for that code. All right, so the next option is erase trouble codes. And if you go into this option, it will erase the trouble codes right away. So don't go in here unless you want to erase the trouble codes. Um, it will also, um, you know, turn off the check engine light. But unless you fix the problem, uh, after you erase the trouble code or codes, the check engine light will most likely just come back on after a short drive. The next option is read data stream and the user's guide says the read data stream function allows viewing of live or real time PID data of vehicles, computer modules. So this is a nice option uh, to help you narrow down once you know what your trouble code is. Um, this will help you potentially narrow it down further of why that trouble code is uh, coming on for your vehicle. Okay, so the next option is the I am readiness status, and this is a great option to use before you go and get your car emissions tested. This will tell you the status of the different monitors in your vehicle. And, um, you know, you're either going to get an OK or an NA or an INC. So the OK means the monitors, uh, you know, are, are testing and completed. The NA means that they're not available for your vehicle, and the INC would mean that they're incomplete. And most likely the INC is to come on after you've like uh, erased the codes for your vehicle uh, or if you've disconnected your battery. So um, but a good um, a good thing to use before you do go and get your car emissions tested. Okay, next is the freeze frame data. And this is a great option too, because this will show all of the um, information in here is at the time that the trouble code registered. So it can help you narrow down what might be going on with your vehicle and why that trouble code registered. So, um, and you would just go to the internet and you could do some research to see what the um, values for your vehicle should be um, and what they registered at the time that that trouble code um, came, you know, was stored in your vehicle and see if it helps you narrow down what might be going on with your vehicle and why you got that trouble code. Um, the component test here, the user's guide says that the component test function allows initiating a leak test for the vehicle's EVAP system. Okay, the O2 sensor monitoring test, the user's guide says that the O2 monitor test function allows retrieval and viewing of O2 sensor monitor test results for the most recently performed tests from the vehicle's onboard computer. Um, so that's cool. If, if this is something that your vehicle supports, you can use this. Vehicle information, this will give you like the vehicle information of your car or, or truck, you know, it will tell you what the VIN number is. Okay, and then the communication model, this just tells you like the, uh, the communication protocol uh, right there. So uh, if you needed that for some reason. So, all right, guys, well, that was it. This is a nice OBD2 scanner, you know, and it's great to have one of these because even if you don't do the repair yourself, um, it helps you narrow down what's going on with your car and why your check engine light is on. And then if you take it to a mechanic, you can talk to them about, okay, this is the code that, you know, the trouble code or trouble codes that I'm getting and talk with them about potential, um, you know, potential causes for those trouble codes and then potential costs uh, to repair those types of, of issues. So it just kind of helps you know ahead of time what might be going on with your vehicle. I hope you guys have liked this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.
Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.